This is no easy task. Not everyone would have come this far up and beyond to investigate a hunch simply on the basis of a stranger's request. My name is Ethan Report. It's the name and the job. Get it? <laughs> anyway. I've come from Oxford, where I happen to be studying journalism. It was always my passion. Ever since I was a kid, when my dad was devoured by an angry pack of squirrels, no one seemed to care about it. It was hard, but my mother and I, we managed to survive it. And last year, my report on the man-eating squirrel problem got the attention that it needed. And for almost a year now, my hometown of Bedford has been completely squirrel-free. And it is not the only article that has caught the eye of the masses. I'm also known for reports such as 10 reasons why you should avoid drinking puddle water and remember, gasoline, it is flammable. And also because of my active social work. I can now read you this letter that I received three days ago. Dear Ethan Report, my name is Arvo Savasar, and I come from Tallinn, Estonia. I've been following you for some time and I admire you and your work very much. I study medicine and recently I had a chat with a woman that claims to be sick with some sort of more severe form of insomnia. At first I was pretty skeptical, but after our talk I found out that there are many more people like her out here. I think that you would be very interested in this case. Thus, I invite you to come here, so we together could get to the bottom of this issue. Hope to hear from you soon, Arvo Savisar. Then, your lat, sto nako next, your spammy stretsuse. Sorry? Um, was my pronunciation really that bad? Was that Russian? <laughs> Poor attempt at it, yes. Yeah, I don't really speak Russian. Oh, I thought that. No. I see. Okay. Uh, anyway. I've arranged a meeting for us with Maria Escola in an hour. Who's that? That's the uh, woman I was mentioning in the letter. Ah, yes, splendid. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Maria Escola. An old woman that lives alone in the suburbs of Tallinn. She is a bit shy and she has had some problems with sleeping for some time now. At first, she suspected that it was insomnia. But then, something made her think that maybe it's actually something very different. Hello Maria, I hope you don't mind that we're filming this today, or that I call you Maria. Now, Arvo here has told me about your condition, and I was wondering if perhaps you could shed some light on its perks and quirks. Okay, mulla on juba pikka aega olnud magamisega probleeme. Alguses ma arvasin, et mulle tegemist on tavalise insomniaga. Aga ükski ravi me ei ole mind aidanud. Olen otsinud abi. Ma ei saa ikkagi magada. Medicine no help. Still no sleep. Kuni kohtasin ühte inimest, kes arvas, et mul võib olla ennu ehk neurologiline unehäire. Sorry, neuro... Neurologiline unehäire. 
And in English, it would be something like neural sleep displacement. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Ta andis mulle selle brosüüri ja kutsus teiste nakatunutega kohtumisele. Okay, what does it say? No, um, it says, are you suffering from neural sleep displacement? If you are experiencing the following symptoms, you may be suffering from neural sleep displacement. Treating neural sleep displacement may result in spontaneous combustion. Umbes samal ajal, kui mul tekisid probleemi tunega, tekisid probleemid ka visundaga. Sorry, visunda, mis see on? Vies chakra, kurgu chakra. So it's located in the throat then? Yeah. So let you ask, so be actually said that they are man. More like that we. Ma käisin ka otorinola rüngologi juures. Otorinola rüngologi? She said she visited an otorinola rüngologist. Why exactly an otorhinolaryngologist? Miks otorhinolaryngologi juures? Otorhinolaryngolog spetsiasiseerub Nina Kurgu kõrva probleemidele. Kas sa siis ei tea seda? Ma ei tea, kes otorhinolaryngolog... Otorhinolaryngolog! Jah. Ma ei tea, kes ta on. Me lihtsalt ei saa aru, miks sa tema juures käisid. Et oma Kurgu tšakrat kontrollida. This number here, who is this for? On that same brochure that Miss Escola was generous enough to give us, we also found a support number, and of course, we did not hesitate to contact it. Is this the support center for the illness Neurologilina Uhiha? Do you, do you speak English? Um, a little, yeah. Kas see on neurologilise une häirel kannatajate tugiline? Jah, see on tugiline ennuval kannatajatele. Uh, Kuidas saan teile ette? Me oleme üliõpilased, kes teevad dokumentaalfilmi neurologilisest une häirest. Ja me mõtlesime, et kas me saaks teie esindajaga interviu korraldada? Again. Although our interaction with the support center wasn't really that helpful, it made it pretty clear that something fishy was going on. And therefore, we had to push on with our research. Thankfully, Maria also told us about a support group that gathers once a week. And she agreed to take us there so we could have a chat with some of the people that have become victims of this viciously life-ruining, sleep-depriving, chakra-sucking illness.
my name is Anna and I actually started this uh, meeting four months ago. At the first meeting we were only two people, but we are growing and now we are usually around 10 in every meeting. But I think it could be more, it would be easier to contact us. I would say there are around 1000 people like us in Harju Maagand alone. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. Yeah. The people come and go. So the faces are changing constantly. There are people who only come to one meeting and then never come again. Because it's not easy. It gets very emotional sometimes. Tere! Minu nimi on Taavet. Ma kannatan enne uual. Ma pole juba üle kahe kuu magale saanud. Ma ei oska seda vaba ajaga mitte midagi peale hakata. See on täiesti naaru väärne. Ma oskan nüüdseks juba soravalt saanud skriti keelt. Ja mis mul sellest üldse kasu on? Milline normaalne inimene üldse oskab saanud skriti keelt? Kas te teate, kui palju inimese üldse räägib saanud skriti keelt kogu maailmas? Alla 20 tuhande. Ja kõik elavad kuskil Indias. Ma ei plaani Indiasse minna. Ma ei taha surra. Ma tahan elada. Aitäh, Taavet. Aplaus Taavetile. Kas sa tead, kes on selle süüdi? Kohe ütlen sulle. See on see valitsus, kes seda jama ette viskab. Sa ei usu mind. Oleks pole just uskuda. Siis on enda huvides. Kas sa ei ole tähedanud? Pärast seda, kui sa ei ole rohkem kui kaks klaasi kraani vett, muutud sa palju rahulikumaks. Peale seda oled sa täpselt selline inimene, nagu nad tahavad. Lamas. Kraani klaasi lamas. Me ei huvita, kuidas sa teada said, et sul on ennu, mitte tavaline insomnia. Kuidas sa erinevustest aru said? No, mina esiklikult sain kõigepealt enu kohta brosüüri, selle siin. Ja kui ma oma sümptomeid seal kirjas olevatega võrdlesin, sain aru, et olen enu positiivne. Minu teada said enamus meist oma diagnoosis samal viisil aru. Eks ole? Ma olen aastaid sotsiaaldemokraatliku partei poolt äletanud. Ma ei tea ise ka miks see. Kristi suuda lube. Kas ennul on ka positiivsed külgi või on ainult negatiivsed? See on tekib palju vaba aega juurde. Lõpuks ameti sain oma hobidega tegelema hakata. Näiteks... Ussi nahkade kogumise ja neti kommentaatoritega vaidlemisega. See on ju üsna ilmselgi. Nad tahad teha teist töölisi, kes ei vaja mitte mingisugust puhkust. Kes suudavad tunda ja tunda järjest tööd teha. Kes nemad? Nemad, noh, tead küll, nemad, noh, ma ei tea, noh, Putin, Merkel, Euroopa Liit, inimesed, kes elavad maa all, sisalik inimesed, on kõik õhesugused. Nad on igal pool, kas tead, kõik jal kuulamas. 
see põhjusel olema alati välja minnes. Selle pähe. Igal hommikul So, in the brochure that me and Arva read, it said that not treating neural sleep displacement may result in spontaneous combustion. Any thoughts on this? Anybody? It is most certainly a terrifying thought, but it also said it's not treated. Well, how do you treat it then? <laughs> No, we got a good ball. Tablet, I got Well, what kind of medicine are we talking about here? Tablet, I got it. 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 I got Rohi aitas sul magada, ega sümptomitega võidelda. Aga seni on rohi mind hoidnud spontaanse sütimise eest. <sighs> Sorry. The support group shed a lot of light on the illness and how one might cope with it. But to be honest, the most valuable information that we got was this address. I'm about to enter the headquarters of a pharmaceutical company called Sia Oracle. They've been responsible for such products as seven day chakra therapy, bear urine serum, and something called Jesus nose drops made out of the tears of Jesus. But now, for the last couple of months, their absolute hit has been anti combustion pills, fight the fire. We hope today we'll be able to find out how this organization operates. Hello, my name is Arvo Salizar and this is my colleague, uh, Ethan Report. You speak in Russian? Deutsch? Only English. Or Estonian. No, it's not a problem. What do we want? Well, as you can see, we're making a film about neural sleep displacement. Its name is different than Estonian. Right. And as we were doing our research, we found out that your company has been providing the victims with medication called anti-combustion pills. We were wondering if you can tell us why you are the only ones making, medi making medication for this. And let's say you have this disease and you walk into a pharmacy and you tell them what you want medication for. Will they basically laugh at you? Because Estonia, Science Estonia and Latvia are part of the European Union, uh, they need all kinds of approvals before they let you sell anything. It was different before. It was real warning. Nobody asked stupid questions like, why your nose bleeds three times of a day? They don't understand that people are 
спонтанно взрываются. And they need their pills right now, not tomorrow or day after. And if you ask it me, I suspect that government is responsible for this. Do you know symptoms of NSD? Apathy. Arch to what some specific political party? That's quite an accusation. Uh, it's only logic. How can one be exposed to NSD? How, how do you get sick? Ah, заболеваю как? I don't know. When I was in Tallinn, I drank some water and I've been feeling sick ever since. I can't sleep. What's wrong with me? Could be, but hear what I'm saying to you. Лучше перестраховаться. Because you know what is the other option. Uh, even if you had any suspicion. I understand. We'll get on that right away. What are you doing? Leaving. Hey. You're not genuinely taking that card, are you? This is our only chance of trading this. What's your problem? You can't be seriously considering this. You just can't see the bigger picture. Bigger picture, okay, I'm out. So, are you taking this or not? So here's the thing, I'm suffering from NSD. I'm gonna stay in Tallinn and try and cure myself. But I feel positive and I believe that everything will be okay. My thoughts after filming this film? Well, it's being said that the government are ignoring this illness and just letting people spontaneously combust. And people aren't being educated about this. But I'm full of hope. And I think the truth will come out and everything will be fine.